Hello, I'm Bruce Shaney, and today in Homemade Science, we're going to look at the classic demonstration of the egg in the bottle. Now, this demonstration has been around for centuries, and it's pretty much been done the same way, so we're going to look at making some changes to it and see if we can improve it. The basic demonstration is fairly simple. We're going to take and light a piece of paper on fire, drop it into the bottle, and then put the egg on top of it, and in it goes. Now to get the egg out of the bottle, the first thing I want to do is rinse it out to get some of the ash out, but then I'm going to turn it upside down and position the egg right at the mouth, and I'm going to blow into the bottle as hard as I can, and come on, come on, <laughs> and there it is. Now I think I want to swap out this bottle with a flask. This one has a longer neck, so the egg's going to have to travel a further distance. Let's give this one a try. Oh, get down there. <laughs> oh, wow! <coughs> I've never seen that happen before. Let's try it again. I have another flask here. Okay, paper's in. Eggs in. And... Now I want to try this again with a much bigger bottle and a much longer tube. This is a glass tube and it's got a round plastic disc loop to it. And I'm going to cover it with a piece of rubber balloon so it gets a better seal against the top of this bottle. Now before each test I do wet the glass to help the egg slide easier. Alright, we'll give this one a try. Chimney and the egg. Let's see if it works. Okay, good. I wonder if we could dig two eggs. Let's see what happens. Is that? Let's try it again with three eggs. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! <laughs> well, I got three eggs to go down one tube. Now I've joined two tubes together. I want to see if I can get one egg to go twice as far. This is actually the first time I've tried several of these experiments. <laughs> That's part of the fun, trying new ideas and seeing if they work. Now let's see if we can get one to go horizontally. Well, with the egg going sideways, it's definitely not gravity that's moving the egg. It must be air pressure. We'll get to that in a few moments, but first let's go on and try a couple more variables. We can replace the paper with a birthday candle. After it's lit, insert the candle flame into the bottle. The bottle's just barely touching the egg surface until the candle goes out. Instead of using a flame, an alternative is to fill the jar up with steam. It doesn't take long, only about 5 to 10 seconds. The outside of the jar isn't even warm. It is possible to put an egg into a bottle without changing the temperature at all. Here I have a rigid plastic bottle, and if I put the egg on top of it, if I squeeze the bottle, goes. If I want to get it out, there you go. Squeeze once again. Now I do have one more method that I want to show you, and this one's not going to require any change in temperature either. To get it going, I'm simply going to add drinking water to this flask. And then put the egg on top. And let's see what happens. I'm going to shake this up a little bit. Oh, a little bit more. 
and there it goes. Now in all these cases, the principle of getting the egg into the bottle is the same. It starts with reducing pressure inside the bottle. With the egg acting as a one-way valve, we can push some of it out by squeezing the bottle. Hot gases are pushed out of the bottle by the flame, and then when they cool, the pressure is reduced. The same is true for steam condensing back into water. It also reduced the pressure inside the bottle. In our last example, the flask was filled with a gas that dissolves. As the water is added to it, the ammonia goes into solution, and let's see what happens. taking up less space, so once again the pressure drops. Since the pressure is greater outside the bottle than inside, it's the atmosphere that's actually pushing the egg into the bottle. Now I am curious, how much does the pressure have to drop for this to happen? Well, it is actually pretty firm. Now, let's see if we can actually measure it. Here I have a straw going through the egg. The straw is connected to a hose, and the hose is connected to a vacuum gauge. On the vacuum gauge, we get a reading of about 10 inches of mercury. If we measure the size of the opening, we can calculate that the atmosphere applies about five and a half pounds of force to push the egg into the bottle. That's actually more than what's needed, as a person can only blow about two PSI of pressure, which is still enough to get the egg out of the bottle. Of course, the amount of pressure needed will depend on the bottle and the size of the egg. Well, I think we've used eggs enough. Now, let's try the demonstration with something else. With a smaller bottle, I can try it with grapes. Here we can see the hot gas being pushed out of the bottle. Well, I think I lost that one. But let's go on and try something else. How about a water balloon? I think I'm gonna see if I can get it into this bottle. And there's no way that I can push it in by hand, but let's see if we can get the atmosphere to do it. Now to get it out, I'm using a straw to blow air behind the balloon as I'm pulling on it. Yeah, here we go. Now let's try it again with a much larger one. <laughs> now let's scale that up a little bit. Bigger bottle and a much bigger balloon. Now to get it out, I have a straw attached to a nozzle. I'm going to try and blow air behind it. See if that works. And there it is. Well, I must admit I was a little nervous about using this water balloon. I half expected this to break on me. Now, if you want to try this experiment, and you've already done it with eggs, and you're a little nervous about using water balloons, there's another possibility. What you need to do is find a bottle, and then a ball or something that's a little bit larger than the opening. Now, let's give this one a try. Oh, that was quick. Once again, to get it out, I'll simply blow air behind the ball. Well, I hope you see how you can take a simple experiment and make it a little bit more interesting. If you do, I'd love to hear about it. And as always, thank you for watching. Okay, bye.